Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Let me turn that down for a second. This is your boy, Tim Biz. All right, so check this out. So former NFL player Chad Willer was convicted on two counts of domestic violence, but he was found not guilty of unlawful imprisonment. Now, it appears that things escalated when one day he walked up to his girlfriend, who happened to be black. Yeah, I'm going there because there's a message at the end of this video. But nevertheless, he, for some reason, just out of nowhere, told her to bow down to him. Whatever the hell that means. And she was like, what? And then he said, bow down. She said, no. Uh, apparently, he grabbed her by the neck and he basically commence to like beating the hell out of her she sustained multiple injuries on her face and everything um to make a long story short um he was convicted he is looking at a maximum of five years in jail but due to the fact that in all likely he's a first time offender they're probably gonna go light on him he's probably i wouldn't be surprised if he gets probation or no more than a year in jail. Now he's going to have to go to those DB classes and all that stuff and do community service. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, there's going to be people that's going to sit up here and lie. But the media really didn't pick up this story. They swept this under the rug. They It was a flyby story. A lot of media outlets didn't talk about this. I didn't see no long segments on him. But, you know, they can have these long 10 minute segments on Kyrie Urban, who didn't do nothing of the sort, nothing remotely violent. But they felt like they needed to have a 10 minute segment on some damn movie that he said he was just going to watch. That's it. That's all. But that just goes to show you how finicky mainstream media is. And this is why people don't take them seriously. And this is why they're losing their luster to, you know, people like us independent media but yeah this story was swept under the rug and don't anybody come on here trying to say oh this was a big story you a motherfucking lie stop it don't try that with me D do not try it this story was swept under the rug now we all remember what happened with ray rice they wouldn't you know stop showing that footage you know, even though his fiance or wife or whatever she she was at the time, she admitted that she struck him first and she initiated the con the contact. And don't come on here with that. I don't care. It's never a get out of here. Ain't trying to hear that. So um, with that being said, you know, a lot of times I would see videos where you would have a certain group of women uh, black women in particularly, and I'm not saying all black women, so don't come on here trying to tell me what to say on my channel. Oh, don't generalize, but I, I don't, but don't tell me what to say on my channel. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Real talk. Um, would make these videos about how much better it is being with guys like them and the grass is greener on the other side was well, you could see this grass turned brown and it needed to get get cut and it didn't get cut and it almost cost this woman her life at the end of the day i'm glad she's safe i'm glad she's safe um hopefully she can move on from this traumatic experience in all likelihood this woman needs to get therapy i highly recommend she gets therapy she's probably gonna think about this for a long time she's probably had nightmares about this at the end of the day um i just want her to be okay i just want this to go away hopefully she can forget about it it's gonna be tough but i'm just glad that she's okay and that's just real talk but i had to put that out there because i always see these damn videos where you have a certain group of people attacking you know brothers and all this stuff saying we're incapable of this we're incapable of that and doing this is so much better and all this stuff but these are the same people that will bitch whine and moan about passport bros and all this kind of stuff the hypocrisy is just it is just amazing but nevertheless like i said i'm i'm happy that she got justice and i hope she can really move on with her life 
but she really needs to seek therapy. And that's just real talk. She needs to seek, seek therapy. Um, I hope she gets the help that she needs because she almost lost her life. This dude is a barbarian. He's an animal. And that's just, just real talk. He belongs, he belongs in jail. And he needs to ha have a psychiatric evaluation. So there you have it. That's all I have to say about this. This is your boy Town. I'm out.